Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. Well, what we have here, we factor 3 raised to power x out and we have 3 raised to power x into brackets. 1 plus 1 plus 1 left here, then equals to 20 on this side. But this here is same thing as 3 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3. Then equals to 20 here. The next step here, we divide both sides by 3. That is, divide this side by 3. Also, divide this side by 3. That is, here, 3 cancelled each other. We have 3 raised to power x equals to 20 over 3. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment, share this video, and also subscribe. Then, here we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 3 raised to power x equals to log 20 over 3. That is, here we apply the power law of log n. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. Then, what we have here becomes x log. 3 equals to log 20 over 3. The next step here we divide both sides by log 3, divide this side by log 3, also divide this side by log 3. At this year, log 3 cancel each other. We have x equals to log 20 over 3 divided by log 3. Then from here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, this same thing as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 20 minus log 3 over log 3. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus log 3 over log 3. At this here, log 3 cancelled each other. We have one left, which implies x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus 1. The next step here, we can also rewrite 20 as 4 times 5. That is, all we have becomes x equals to log. 4 times 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then this here follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. And here we separate this into two fractions. As this we have x equals to log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then, next step here, we can express 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. And what we have becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. In this year, we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, and we have x equals to 
2 log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then we apply change of base A. When we have log A over log B, the same thing as log A to base B. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. That is the value of x here we have. 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 plus also 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 also plus 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 is it equals to 20 on this side. Then this follows when we have same thing together three times. That is a plus a plus a can be written as 3a. The same way we can write it as 3 times 3 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then is it equals to 20 on this side? And we apply the law of indices here. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. And also a raised to the power m minus n, same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. At this here, this becomes 3 times 3 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3 then divided by 3 raised to the power 1. Is it equals to 20 on this side? And this becomes 3 times here. We reverse this 2 from power log and we have 3 raised to the power log. 2 squared base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3 over 3 raised to the power 1 that's 3 is equals to 20 on this side. And here these 3 cancel each other. And we have 3 raised to the power log 2 squared that's 4. Then base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3 is equals to 20 on this side. Then here, yeah, this follows. What well, we have a raised to the power log b to base a. This is equals to b. And this same thing as 4 then times 5 is equals to 20 on this side. And of course, 4 times 5 here gives us 20, which is equals to 20 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more video and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.